Here's the latest on xtalks.com. A recent report published in the journal JCI Insight suggests that an existing Alzheimer's drug could also be used to treat patients with metabolic syndrome, a condition characterized by high blood pressure, elevated glucose levels, high cholesterol, and excess fat around the midline. Could the drug offer a new treatment option for these patients? Hello, I'm Sarah Hand, editor and webinar moderator for xtalks.com, and welcome to this edition of Xtalks Vitals. An estimated 30% of adults in the U.S. are affected by metabolic syndrome, which increases their risk of developing type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease. As there is no treatment that addresses all of the symptoms of metabolic syndrome, doctors often prescribe individual drugs such as statins to lower cholesterol and metformin to control blood sugar levels in an attempt to treat the condition. Inflammation is at the heart of metabolic syndrome, leading researchers at the Feinstein Institute to hypothesize that galantamine, an anti-inflammatory drug currently approved to treat Alzheimer's disease, could also treat patients with metabolic syndrome. The researchers found that galantamine treatment was associated with an over 25% reduction in inflammation in patients with metabolic syndrome. This reduction in inflammation was also associated with decreased insulin resistance compared with the placebo group. Galantamine is an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor which prevents the neurotransmitter acetylcholine from being degraded too quickly. As cholinergic function is impaired in patients with Alzheimer's disease, the drug may help to compensate for this deficit and support normal cognitive functioning. Subscribe to the Xtalks YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and visit xtalks.com for more information on this story and others like it in the life science industry.